Hey you guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to the channel. We are on day 27 of our Need to Know November Fest. Today we are talking about exercise, so stay tuned. Um, our Need to Know November Fest is almost done and we only have a couple more days, you guys. Hopefully you're doing well. If not, and you guys wanna just start over with us on our um, first day of December, we are gonna be doing a dedication fast, which is our December dedication fast. It's gonna be a final push for the end of the year. Um, try and meet some of those goals. We'll talk about that later. Um, but let's go ahead and get into today's topic, uh, which is, should I exercise while fasting? <laughs> So, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing because I am doing a different topic every single day. I am doing um, a different type of fast every single day, but I'm also kind of giving you guys knowledge about different different forms of fasting, what it is, what the benefits are, and different things like that. Um, and I'm also a fellow faster, so you guys can check up on me and, and see how my journey is going. I love talking with you guys. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this next topic. So should I exercise while fasting? I see this all the time because a lot of people love exercising when they're doing any kind of diet regimen or any kind of health journey in, in general. Um, and yes, you definitely can. Now, the thing is, is that I, I want to put a personal disclaimer on there because I personally do not believe that exercise should be done when in, when a person is doing a dry fast. Now, if you don't know what a dry fast is or anything to do it, you can check out my video. Um, but when somebody is in a dry fast where they're not drinking anything either, I think it's actually very dangerous for your body to do that because not only is it not eating, um, but now it has to go in and create its own molecular water. And I just personally think it's too much stress for the body. So when you're doing a dry fast, I personally believe that it should be done in a rested state. Okay, so no exercise for dry fasting. Water fasting is something completely different, I think, um, and there's different things. It depends on if you're doing intermittent fasting. So you are waking up in the morning, say your next meal isn't until 10 o'clock and you wanna work out before that. Yes, definitely do that. You're still getting all of the benefits from your intermittent fast. Uh, the autophagy, you know, the human growth hormone, all that stuff, you're getting amped up, your ketones are going, you're gonna be working your system and making it more efficient. Your body is actually, um, it's being trained, bless you. It's being trained to um, get that fat mobilized and into the blood so that it can be used for energy. Um, people have actually claimed that they are, um, fasting puts them in more of a, a mental focus into their uh, exercise. And so they, they get those deeper results and they actually have like a connection with what their body is doing and how their body is feeling. So um, there's been studies done as well that people are having increases in fat burning, like up to 60% if they're in a fasted state. Um, and um, also that recovery is improved because of the glycogen being moved into the muscles um, more immediately than it would if you were um, eating something. So there's a lot of good information. Bottom line is a yes, you can definitely work out. My personal opinion is it should not be something that's so strenuous that you're just dripping in sweat and feel like you're gonna die. Um, go for things like riding a, a bike. You can do um, you can do heavy lifting if you're careful, just because you're not um, getting in that protein at the moment. So you're actually going to have to wait to get those recovery nutrients into your body if you happen to hurt yourself. That's just something to um, be aware of. I would do things like maybe some cardio, maybe some aerobic exercise, swimming, definitely water for sure. Um, different things like that. So uh, try not to overdo it too much because you are still in a fasted state. You don't wanna push your body too hard. Listen to it. That's really important. Be aware of things like nausea, dizziness, headaches, muscle cramps, things like that. Those could be a sign of electrolyte um, imbalances. So it may be a good idea that if you are one of those people who like to exercise while doing your fasting, um, maybe you might want to take some electrolytes uh, just as kind of like a air on the side of caution type of thing. That's just my personal opinion. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys work out while you're fasting? 
I personally do not, but I do a lot of walking at work. Um, I do find that it helps um, put me into ketosis a little bit faster. So um, yeah, what do you guys think? I will uh, see you guys tomorrow for day 28. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I will see you then.